Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we're going to discuss diagnosing problems inside of families. We've gone here and we've created this door or done some editing to a door maybe we've downloaded off the internet. We've added in these little uh, this, these spacers here. We've changed maybe added two of them in so we can turn off turn each one on and off using the visibility settings using parameters here. All that's working well we get the full pane and then we come over here and we can tell it to show the, the let's say the six pane or how we want to set these up. The problem that's happening is when we created these we associated them with a work plane but that work plane is not associated with the actual um, door itself or that door solid. So as the wall gets thicker uh, the door moves but those um, dividers do not. So how do you find this out? What's the way to test this stuff before you bring it back into a project and find out that it's all squirrely? So here's a uh, quick tip. When you're working in Revit and you're actually working on a door, sometimes things get kind of thick and they're hard to work with. What you can do is to verify that elements are working correctly is change the thickness of the wall in the family. So it's just a like a placeholder, but if you grab that wall you'll notice it says basic wall. I'm going to hit the edit type. I scroll on over here to the structure pull that over a little bit. Within here you can see the default wall is four and a half inches thick. If I come in here and I change it to let's say 12 or 14 inches, uh, what that's going to do it's going to spread everything out and we can see what's happening. I'm going to hit OK on that. Now that's quite large but what it's going to do it's going to tell us as you can see here certain things move and certain things didn't. Okay so if we start to take a closer look you'll notice that uh, these elements here, the frame and mullions are the Know, the dividers, whatever you want to call them, are not moving with the glass. So let's go take a look at the actual um, assembly here. If we go up top and hit this little button, uh, Family Types, it'll let us see what's happening within the door or window. And I come down here and I see I have lots of variables. In here we have one that's called um, door thickness. So we kind of go over here and I'm going to jack this up to maybe three inches. Again, sometimes I overemphasize it just so I can see what's happening. Now when I hit Apply on that, you'll notice that the door got it's three inches thick so that seems to be working and the glass is, is still following in between. So that's uh, maybe how we download it off the internet and it's working fine but our parts are still not working right. Now as we look through here you'll also notice that we have um, different elements we can play with, right? So as we go down here we continue through and I'm going to zoom up and down and kind of take a look through here and you'll see up top here it says door offset. Now if I change the door offset to let's say again three inches, something large so we'll see it, I hit apply, you'll notice that the door actually sets in three inches. So that's working great. But you'll notice that even when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel out of that and undo, that uh, nothing is driving this here. We want this reference plane, so you can see how these elements are associated with the reference plane, which is good. But we need to have them associate with these settings here. So we need to find out some reference planes that we can use. Now there's a couple of ways to go about this. We could take these solids and actually associate them with the same as the glass. Now if I grab the glass, you'll notice in here, the glass is using some numbers based off of um, the door, etc. So whatever it's, it's using, we could use also. If you want to hover over this, we'll see it's center, front, back. Now, what we're going to do is, since it's already at this point, we're just going to play a little math game. As I roll over the front of the door and I hit tab, 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 I pick up a reference plane. I'm going to click on it. Uh, that one says exterior, so that's the exterior of the wall. Now I'm going to hover over it again and hit tab again. This time I'm going to hit the second reference plane. One, two, now you'll notice there was another one in there. There's a long one, and then I'm going to scroll over it. There's actually a shorter one. Now this says door offset, so I actually have two of them that are in here. That one's more important to me. Let's go back and let's take that door offset and set it to two inches again at three inches. Not feet, inches. Okay, hit OK on that or apply either one. And you'll see what happens, how it moves back. So there's actually a reference plane in there. Tab, tab. Hover over it again. Tab, tab, tab. So what we know is, in this uh, family, we need to take these elements and associate them with the center. So there's probably five or six ways to go about this. We could recreate or adjust that reference to pick up where these guys are. Or we can just take what we have and mathematically place it at the center of the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and this is just one way of doing it. I'm going to add a parameter, and I'm going to say center window dividers. And again, this can be however you want to do it. This can be a length, dimensions, and I hit OK. I'm going to say uh, do not edit. 
because what it's doing is it's going to be a calculated value. Uh, so it comes in here, and there it is. Now it says center window dividers. We're now going to take, how about we take the door thickness, and then we can divide it. Okay, so I'm going to say door thickness. So we'll go up top, and you'll see right here, as we move up or down through here, we have one that says thickness. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say thickness. It has to be exactly how it's written here, uppercase and lowercase. For instance, if I type in a regular T, and then I come in here and I put like divide by 2. When I hit enter, see it throws an error. So we want to make sure we use exactly how uh, Revit has it in there. It's up, it, it's case sensitive. Now, if I click off of it, you see it's happy and it says inch and a half. So now, whatever the door thickness is, Revit is going to take that and divide it by 2, which gives us that parameter. Now, let's go back. Hit OK on that. Now, I have my style, which is here, and I have my window, which is here. Oh, excuse me, face of my door, which is here. Again, this is one of about five or six ways we could do this. I'm going to put the dimension in. What I'm going to tell Revit to do is take this number, and I'm going to use the center of window dividers. Okay. Notice it jumped to the center right there. So now we've, we've actually put in a mathematical equation to make this happen. Now let's test drive it. I'm going to go back, and first of all, I'm going to mess with the door itself. Scroll down a little bit. Let's go ahead and we'll say the uh, width of the door is three inches now. I'm going to make it five inches now. I don't know if you ever have a five inch door unless it's maybe a freezer door. So I had five inches. I want you to notice that, that, uh, that the divider is, is following the glass. Let's use the offset. So the offset is up high, up here. And we can move this if we want. If you want that mathematical information to be down further, you can. Um, so I'm going to come in here and put this down back to zero. I hit apply on that. And we hit OK. Um, I know I hit apply. Apply, I can just look at it. And I don't have to close the box. When I hit OK, it closes out. Now, these are lined up nice and neat. And notice it's following. So our math is working. The last thing we'll do is we'll change the width of the wall. And then notice we didn't even get out of here. Or um, we haven't gone out of it. But we're able to test drive everything. I'll set this back. Let's go to, I'm going to say 24 inches. I'm going to get crazy with this. And hit OK on that. At this point, we hit OK. The wall jumps to real thick. And now you notice how... Um, that information is following. So now we have a door that works for us. Let's spin it around and just verify it. So if we have a large uh, wall scenario, you'll notice that the dividers are sitting where they need to be. So that's how you can go ahead and uh, test drive your families and make sure that uh, mathematically they work without jumping in and out of a fam uh, project. Now I do recommend if you are working on a larger project, just create a simple project with three or four walls and uh, throw that door into that wall and play with it a bit. Have three or four different wall sizes and drop them in and see what happens. If you're loading into a large project, you're doing two things. You keep gumming up your model, looking all these doors in. Secondly, you've got to wait for all this stuff to regenerate and to go through the process. So when you're building families, start with a simple project, uh, a few walls, a few doors, and uh, now we can test everything and make sure it works before you bring it into your final project. So if you enjoyed the tip of the week, if you have any questions, you can check us out on the web at therevitguys.com. Uh, we do training, support, and implementation for Revit, Navisworks, and AutoCAD. Thank you.